Hi, I'm Roger Bindle. Have you ever shot video where you wanted to blur people in the background or objects or basically create a narrow depth of field? Well, you can do that with Vegas 18 using motion tracking and Bezier masks. One of the first things you need to do is create a copy of the original track because that's the track we're going to apply the masking to and then the tracking afterwards. Next we'll add actually two masks to this. I'm going to do one for the head and one for the body because I found tracking the head and the body separately seemed to work better than trying to do the full person. So we'll enable mask one and create a curve on that. Got the edit mode set and we'll add curves. And then turn the edit mode off after you've done the edit. Create a second mask. Set the enable it. And again, we're going to edit a curve. Again, once you're finished with that, you'll want to turn off the edit mode. But a point I'll add at this point, if you later want to go in and tweak, what you can do is go into the normal mode and then change individual areas like this. The add mode is made just for adding. Okay, now we turn that off. And we'll need to open the motion tracking window and making sure that we've got the track selected that we're going to apply the motion to you can see that both of those Bezier curves are added to the list where it's going to mask I've been using most accurate and I felt that perspective worked the best I tried shape and location but perspective seemed to be the best for doing the tracking and then what you can do is track both directions because you'll notice my cursor is actually in the middle of the video so I need to track both directions and as it's doing that you'll notice it's creating keyframes for all of the Vezier cares where it finds them in position okay so we have all the keyframes set and I need to set up a bit of blur for the lower original track and I've noticed that uh, the default is a little bit too much I've been setting it to about 0.04 and right away you'll notice that there is some areas that don't look too good around the edges here but that's an easy fix as we'll go back into the Bezier masking into the general options and you'll see there's a blend and what I'm going to do is blend both the upper and the lower layers and you'll see it's coming out fairly good there's a little bit in here that's not too good but next I can also add a bit of feathering and you'll see now that edge starts to go away on the body there's an area here you can see there's a it's a little too sharp so we'll go to the body mask and also add a little bit of feathering there and there you can see everything looks pretty good this is a sample of what the video looks like afterwards as you can see there are some rough spots where it doesn't work out perfectly another thing you'll notice when the head turns side to side and especially that hat that it doesn't track that very well but again it follows it pretty good and if you're doing an interview with someone and you really want to blur people in the background or even the background itself it works out pretty good